back to my channel and welcome to vlogmas today's video is going to be a 2019 christmas wish list or just a wish list in general um maybe i won't get this stuff for christmas but and if i don't i'll probably end up buying it for myself because there are things that i want and let's just be real everyone has a wish list so maybe if my sister's watching this this will help her out on what to get me for christmas so i wrote everything down so that's why i'm looking down <laughs> okay, let's get started. So in beauty, um, one of the things that I've really been eyeing, and I just can't bring myself to buy it because again, I don't really play with color a lot on my eyes, but I do appreciate, you know, the art of the eyeshadow palettes, and especially now after watching watching Shane Dawson's documentary, and just seeing all the effort that goes into that kind of stuff, I just oh, love it even more now. So one of the things that I've been eyeing a lot is the Huda Mercury Retrograde. Yeah. I got it good. Ah! Anyways, it looks so pretty. I absolutely love the packaging. And so that's on my list. The other thing, which, sister, if you're watching, I'm talking to you, is the Milk <laughs> Hydro Grip Primer. Uh, my sister really recommended it to me. And so anytime she gets something, like, I obviously want it. We have to have everything together. Sherry is caring. The next thing would be a jade roller. And a jade roller, like, I know that kind of just seems like really off on the spectrum of the list because they're really inexpensive and like they sell them at TJ Maxx and everything, but it's just something that I can't bring myself to buy for myself. I'm, I don't know if it's like real or if it's fake or like what the whole shebang with it is, but they, they just look so aesthetically pleasing, especially like the rose quartz one, obviously. I love pink and I don't know it just seems like on those days when you do you know want to do like some self-care just to have like a really cool jade roller to like massage your face and like maybe just close your pores a little like that would be great so that's on the list and then for hair so I love the Olaplex um, products my hairstylist started using the oil on me and I absolutely loved it so I want the little uh, gift set that they're doing and I'll insert a picture somewhere in this video. I should probably move to the side so I have space for that. But yeah. <laughs> so that's ugh, on my hair wants. And the other one also recommended by my hairstylist. I absolutely cannot afford like, I just, I can't, I can't blow dry my hair. It just, I look like a freaking weird poodle thing. I can't do it. And she really recommended the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer Airbrush. And it's only about $30. So again, if I don't get these things for Christmas, I'll probably get for myself. But I'm intrigued because she says it works wonders. She raved about not being able to, you know, like blow dry her own hair, but it really helped. So I'm going to be looking into that. And then moving on to tech. Mm, she fit in herself. I'm just kidding. Anyways. Moving into tech, um, one of the things that I've been eyeing and I have in my Amazon cart and so if no one gets me this for Christmas, I am gonna just pull the plug on it because they're also not really that expensive, is one of those charging stations where you can charge your Apple Watch, your iPhone, and your AirPods. Like, a, like it's just like a, little, like a little hug for them and I think it's super cute and again, I want the rose gold color. And the other thing is I want a pink speaker for my office because it's just, it's not loud enough in here. And obviously pink is a theme throughout. I, I did a home tour, but I haven't done like what it looks like now that it's furnished and stuff. It's not completely like 100% done, but it is, I would say 95% done. So I might do that. But yeah. The other thing on my tech is the fridge air pink retro mini fridge. I think it's so cute, again, for your skincare. I love using the Lush Magnamente, Magnum, I forget what it's called. Magnum, you know, the minty face mask, that one. 
I love using it and I love keeping it in the fridge. I think you have to keep it in the fridge actually. Um, so I think it would just be really cute to have, you know, my jade roller because my sister's gonna get it for Christmas, just watch. And <laughs> the face masks and all that kind of stuff in there. Or, you know, just a Dr. Pepper because your girl loves Dr. Pepper. And so then this brings me to gift cards. And I know people don't like giving gift cards. And even if it's just $20, $10, $15, like, I think it's awesome. I love getting gift cards. Like, I feel like I'm saving when I use them. I don't know. It's just like, and I love a good save. So if you're saving me money, like, I'm going to love it even more. And so for gift cards, these would be my top three. And the first would be an airline gift card. I would have to personally go with United or American Airlines. Just be United, I know they're in the heat all the time, but they're the most flights out of my area, so that would be the most useful one. I normally, the cheapest flights I find are with United. So even if I got an extra $20 off, $10, $15, $50, whatever, like that would just be awesome. And the other one would be American. I think that would be the second largest airline that we have here. And then moving on from that, another really good one would be TJ Maxx because they just have everything, like everything. Like you're bored, go to TJ Maxx. You're sad, go to TJ Maxx. You're happy, go to TJ Maxx. Like you just go to TJ Maxx for everything and anything and you don't know what to get, go to TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx will tell you what to get. And so a TJ Maxx gift card would just be everything too. And third, my favorite place to eat in the world is Olive Garden. I will probably be eating Olive Garden after this video. And so if I got a gift card to Olive Garden, that would just be like an excuse to go see Olive Garden. You know? Yeah. That'd be great. Okay. And then in the wardrobe department, I don't know. Like I don't really have too many things that I would want. <laughs> I do, I am in the phase of like loving chunky shoes and so I really want a pair of pink ones. I am obsessed with these pink Balenciagas. They're actually white but they have like pink in the soles and they're just so pretty. I'll put a picture somewhere so you guys can see them and I'm obsessed with them. But I just recently got the all white pair so I don't think that, that would be a good call. But I really want pink chunky shoes so even like the, the pink fillas. Those are the ones on my list right now. They're gorgeous. Excuse me. And so yeah, that would be the other thing on my list. Some pink chunky shoes. And then for my home, one of the things that I've just, I didn't think I needed, but now I'm like, I definitely need is a vacuum. So if you guys don't know, I have two dogs. Maui and Chloe, and I am obsessed with them. They are my babies, but they shed so much. And people don't think that they shed, but they shed a lot because they're short-haired and you just, you can't see it. Like, you can't. But then we we sweep and there's like a pile of freaking hair. And so I think a vacuum would just be so helpful. I've been looking into the Bissell Crosswave Pet Pro because we do have um, tiled floor. So it doesn't only sweep, it back, it doesn't only sweep, it doesn't only vacuum, but it also mops. And I think that would be just freaking awesome. And here I am giving them free advertisement, this will sponsor me. And the other thing is a bookshelf and something that I haven't gotten because Christmas was rolling around and I knew I wanted to put my tree up here, but the bookshelf would essentially go in this area of the office and preferably a white one because it would match with everything. So that's also on my Christmas list if anyone you know, sometimes you just want to give gifts that, you know, the person is really going to use. And so, mom, this one's for you. A bookshelf. I'm just kidding. Get me whatever you want. But yeah. So that concludes my 2019 Christmas wish list. Um, maybe it'll help you find something to give to your 20-something year old something or other. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Oh, don't forget, like subscribe, leave a comment, and again, see you tomorrow.